Hi, my name is Evi and today we are going to read book Living in India by Koi Perkit, illustrated by Tom Wooley. And we are presenting this reading with permission of Access Copyrights and the publisher. Namaskar, that means hi in Marathi. My name is Nisha and I live in India. India is country in Asia, where more than 1 billion people live, including me. India is made up of 29 states. People in different states often speak different languages. This is because India is very big. It is the seventh largest country in the world. More than 700 uh, languages are spoken in India. India is split into four main geographic regions. The north of India is part of Himalayan mountain range. To the south, is the Deccan Plateau, which has many hills and rivers. The region above the plateau is large and flat and is great for growing crops because many rivers run through it. This area has lots of farms. The last region to the west is covered in deserts. India has many big, bustling cities. One of the biggest is Mumbai. In Mumbai you will find Bollywood where a lot of movies in India were made. India makes the most movies in the world. Many of them are musicals. The biggest city in India is Delhi. Within Delhi is our capital, New Delhi, which is home to many beautiful temples and museums. You can find the Lotus Temple there. It is one of the most famous temples in India. Bengaluru is known as the Garden City. It is filled with blooming trees, big parks and lakes. Kolkata has been home to many of Indian great thinkers, artists, writers and architects over the years. I live near Mumbai, in a city called Hunu. With my mom, dad and two sisters. I have one older sister and one younger sister. My dad is an airline pilot. He flies people to places all around the world. My mom works for a real estate company. She helps people to buy homes and apartments. Each morning I wake up and get dressed. There are many different kinds of clothes in India, like the sari and kurti. I wear saris to fancy events, like weddings. A sari is a long cloth that you wrap around yourself. At home I often wear shorts, but at school I wear uniform. My older sister usually wear a kurti. A kurti is a long shirt that you wear with pants. Our first subject is math. We are learning about subtraction. After our math lesson we practice reading in English and Marathi. In the big cities in India most students learn English. It is important to learn English because many medicine labels, menus and signs in India are printed in English. At 10 o'clock we stop for our snack break. Today we are having flatbread with sabzi. Sabzi is a dish made from cooked vegetables. Once we finish our snack, we start our history lesson. We are learning about when the British ruled India from 1858 to 1947. Britain wanted to control India because our country had valuable spaces, rice, cotton, tea and gems. India's resource made Britain very rich. The British built factories and railroads all over India to make and move more goods. But many Indian people were unhappy. Britain made Indians work for little money and fight in their wars. During food storages in India, Britain did little to help. As time passed, people wanted the British to leave. A man named Mohandas Gandhi began a movement to end British rule in 1919. Gandhi told people to stop attending British schools and to stop work for the British. Gandhi was imprisoned a few times, including once right here in Pune. But that didn't stop him. He told the people to make their own food, clothes and other goods. This way, the British couldn't make money from taxes on the goods that Indian people bought. It took many years, but Gandhi's idea worked. In 1945, the British began 
talking to Gandhi and other leaders about Indian independence. And in 1947, Britain at least gave power back to the Indian people. After science and gym class, it's noon and school is over. I take the auto rickshaw home. I play cricket with my sister and our friends. Cricket is very popular sport in India. At 6 o'clock I have my hobby class. Hobby classes are outside of school and you can learn all kinds of subjects. My big sister learns a traditional Indian dance. My little sister learns piano. I get to learn speed roller skating. When I get home, my sister and I discuss Diwali. Diwali is Hindu festival celebrated for five days in October or November and marks the new year in India. On the first day, we clean the house. We light clay lamps, which represent our inner light on the second day. On the third day, we eat yummy food and watch fireworks. We exchange gifts on the fourth day. And on the fifth day, we have a big meal with our uncles. After dinner, our dad gets home from his last trip. He bought my sister and me souvenirs. My dad brings me back souvenirs from all his trips. I have things from China and Iceland and the United States too. One day I want to visit all of these places, just like my dad. Would you like to visit India someday? The end. I hope you like this book and you learn a lot of new things about India. See you next time. Goodbye.